We will have the pleasure of hearing from Lady Irene Hatter in just a little bit. First, we would like to proceed with the awarding of Sir Maurice and Lady Irene Hatter Research Grant for the study of maritime civilizations. The relationship with our, which our students have with Sir Maurice and Lady Irene Hatter is profound and we have been extremely fortunate that the Hatters have seen our students for what they are a wonderful and precious resource. For the presentation of this award, I have the great pleasure of calling to the stage Lady Irene Hatter, Dr. Gil Gambash, the Chair of the Department of Maritime Civilizations. Please come up. This year, the Sir Maurice and Lady Irene Hatter Research Grant for the Study of Maritime Civilizations has 12 recipients. However, with us today are 10 of those recipients, and I shall be, uh, begin by calling their names one by one and ask they to proceed to the stage and remain there after receiving their award. The first recipient of this award, wonderful scholarship, is Pembernel Atlan. <laughs> Elang Lee. Oh. Hyu Chin Cha. <laughs> Perry Pach. <laughs> Nicole Constantine. Ayelet Miller, <laughs> Aviva Folek, <laughs> Yael Shai, <laughs> Butayna Shehadi, <laughs> and Omar Zidan. Very good. Good luck. 
Congratulations to all the recipients. Congratulations. I have the pleasure to inviting Lady Irene Hatter to come up to the podium to deliver her greetings. By the way, this little preview you saw is, is part of a one hour and ten minute film that is going to go around the world and uh, I specifically made it to start off here for this. Mr. Chairman, distinguished professors and guests, dear friends, yesterday, today, tomorrow, I'm honored to be standing here in the present with a big emotional look back at my own past through the film spotlight of my father. Fast forward to the wonderful students who have just been presented with their awards, and I'm looking towards a glowing future. The roster of our prize-winning students, young men and women, or maybe nowadays I should say women and men, is just what Morris and I are thrilled to witness. We have been privileged to assist them in their studies in marine research, vital for Israel and the Mediterranean, and increasingly in the world. The sea, as Shimon Peres said, is now a pioneering frontier. It's been my good fortune to be the daughter of an inspiring man of courage, as I hope the preview of this film has conveyed to you about my dad. From that start in life, I've shared a partnership with a remarkable man, Morris, who is unable to be here today, but I know he would be delighted as I am to see the caliber of students at the university we both so love. However, we are all, as well as being daughters, sons, partners of another half, achievers in our own right. The University of Haifa has always been a place of learning, open to all, whatever background you come from, in whatever way you want to succeed. I am now pr proud to see, under this exceptional leadership, leadership that it's growing from a provincial university to a powerhouse with international reach. There's a saying in English, with a marine flavor, that once you have a certain advantage, the world is your oyster. I think that students who have been blessed with education here can have command of a great future in the wide world. Each one of you should find a pearl in that oyster. And, as far as Maurice and I are concerned, you are precious, each precious. Thank you for hearing my story and for your hard work, which I promise I will match with my own dedication in the years ahead. Eurovision may be in Jerusalem next year, but I raise a toast to all of us in Haifa 2019 Shalom Litrayot. Thank you, Lady Hatter, for your kind and warm work. Now, let us proceed to the presentation of the Dean of the Students Awards. There are two awards to be given today in this category. The Israeli Hope in Academia Award presented to the outstanding students of the Unit of the Social Involvement 
and the Distinguished Israeli Citizenship Award presented to their mother resident. The first award to be presented in the Israeli Hope in Academia Award presented to outstanding students of the Unit of Social Involvement. This award is given to the students who have worked towards creating a meaningful intercultural dialogue and have become role model for social leadership and vision. When President Rivlin announced his Israeli Hope initiative, the university gladly joined, and this award is part of this blessed, that blessed initiative. For the presentation of the award, I call to the stage Professor Jenny Kurman, Dean of the Students. I also call upon Ms. Sharon Kaplan, a dear and dedicated friend of the university, whose family's long-standing support for community leadership among our Druze students has been inspiring. I now wish to call the first recipient of this award, Smadar Berger, to the stage to receive this award. Madar receiving this award for her unique contribution to the Shevet Achim Gam Yachad initiative, which promotes dialogue between the Jewish secular and Haredi populations. Smadar is dedicating to creating a profound and meaningful dialogue between these two populations while truly engaging, listening, and learning. I now have the pleasure of calling upon the second recipient of the Israeli Hope in Academia Award, Neria Weisenberg, to the stage. <laughs> Neria is receiving this award for his unique contribution to the Jewish Arab Community Leadership Program. He is instrumental is in creating a meaningful intercultural dialogue and is a wonderful role model in initiating social change. Thank you, Ms. Kaplan. Congratulations to Smadar and Neria. We shall now proceed to the presentation of the Distinguished Israeli Citizenship Award presented to dormitory residents. The award is given to dormitory resident who has shown to be reliable, reasonable, and exceptionally generous with their time and enthusiasm towards bettering dormitory life. For the presentation of the award and to join Professor Kurman on the stage, I have the pleasure of calling Dr. Avigdor Zonishen a member of the University Executive Committee who is extremely generous to us with his time and energy. <laughs> and, and Ms. Usnat Weinstein, Director of the Unit for the Student Dormitories and Housing. I call upon the first recipient of the Distinguished Israeli Citizenship Award recipient, Fadi Falah, to the stage. Okay. Fadi receives this award for his personal contribution to the university dormitories for helping all the residents with social needs for his continuous and cold status and his warm reception of all new residents, Fadi does this with humility and a warm smile. <laughs> the, second, the second recipient of this award is Amit Gross. Please come up, Amit. <laughs> Amit. 
Amit receives this award for his personal contribution at the Sheikh Madir Matories for always helping residents and creating a beautiful garden and for his warm reception of new residents. Amit does all of this with humility and a warm smile. Thank you, Professor Kurman, Dr. Zonishen, and Ms. Weinstein, and congratulations to Fadi and Amit. Now, before we proceed to the more formal part of this concluding plenary session, where Professor Tauber will provide his concluding remarks, we should take a very short five minutes break to allow for those wishing to step out to do so. Okay, please uh, look at the uh, pages which have been distributed. Okay, so we have some, uh, a couple more fiduciary responsibilities. The first uh, is the confirmation of the new members of the Board of Governors, uh, which is on page one. Um, is there a nomination to accept these, no uh, these candidates? Thank you. Second, thank you. All those in favor? Raise your hand, please. If there are any objections, just members of the Board of Governors should vote. Okay, so this roster is accepted. Uh, on the second page, we have re-election of governors whose terms have expired. Kindly review those. Hopefully there are no objections. Do I have a nomination to accept these candidates? Thank you. A second, thank you. All those in favor? Indicate by raising your hands. You're not that tired. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Any opposite, any nays? Unanimous, thank you. Uh, the third item that requires election is the uh, re-election of the chair and members of the control committee and appointment of a new member. Kindly review those. This is a very important committee, and it is ably uh, led by Bashir. Do I have a nomination to accept these? Second, please. Thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor? Nays? Unanimous. Thank you. We've already done the budget, the ratification of the financial reports, and the appointment of the auditor. So I'm not going to uh, recertify those. Uh, the last item on this page is the announced dates for next year, June 4th to 6th. Mark your calendars. So every year I have the uh, opportunity to make some closing comments. Um, I think that it's quite evident that each year the formula of the, uh, of the Board of Governors meeting changes. Uh, the format changes a bit, uh, the content uh, changes in terms of the organization, structure of the meeting. And in the five uh, meetings that I've presided over, each one is distinct and has uh, had what I would say a different focus or a different tenor or a different uh, air about it. Um, the one thing that's consistent is that I at least leave feeling pretty good. Pretty good about the Board of Governors. Not great because the attendance is very poor. And I take that upon myself as a failing and the reason we have these different uh, structures for the meeting is that we keep looking for the right formula. Uh, there's uh, always some didactic sessions. Uh, there's the excitement of the honorary 
uh, degree conferment. Uh, there's uh, some intellectual content, sometimes more, sometimes less. There's entertainment. Last night was a great party. I love that band. We've got to have them back. Uh, but the point of my comments are, uh, and I, I said this at the opening session, uh, we need to have input from governors as to what uh, you think might make this a more interesting meeting, uh, might attract more uh, foreign, international members to come, uh, to generate more excitement among our own Israeli uh, members of the board and to invigorate it because obviously the Board of Governors is an opportunity to sell the university and to celebrate it. We just had these awards for students. We celebrate many, many different aspects of the university and this is gratifying both for those particular recipients but it helps to build the esprit de corps of the university which is a dynamic community that needs to feel good about itself. And this brings me to my last comment about the expansion of the university. What it really represents beyond the material and academic opportunities offered is the sense that the institution is dynamic, it's growing, it's an exciting place to be. It's the university which is on the move. It has some extraordinary talent here. It's attracting more and more talent. The older faculty is uh, retiring. There's a whole generation of new uh, academic talent which is uh, being attracted to the university and which is being organized uh, by, the, uh, by the rector and the president uh, garnering resources for them is crucial. And the whole notion of the institution developing in diverse ways, this multiversity, is far more than a geographical expansion. It's about a university, and it always will be a university, multiplying into different arenas and developing into uncharted territory. And this is very, very exciting. And each of us, to the extent that we can identify with the university, enriches our own life, which was the point of my comments last night, that the donors want to be part of the university. They want to be part of this community. Why they would want to be part of this community varies enormously. But the bottom line is they sign their name. They join. And we need to re-emphasize not only that we appreciate their commitment, but we need it. There's a difference, at least in English, between appreciating someone and needing it, needing him or her. And the Board of Governors meeting is an opportunity to make that message as clear as possible. And so as chairman, I have to admit a certain frustration that this entire hall is not full. And uh, we're going to work again and we're going to, next year, uh, try again to fill the hall and to make this a, uh, an exciting opportunity for people to participate and share in what is obviously a growing, dynamic place. So I don't want to end on a, on a bad note because uh, it's clear uh, that there is so much to celebrate. I'm simply saying to you in the most intimate way that the frustration is that the dream, the aspiration at the University of Haifa is not embraced by more. I want the whole country to recognize that this place is moving and that our students and our faculty are truly excellent. And you know, and I've said this again and again, excellence is not just measured by the Malag's criteria. Excellence is ex measured, at least for me, for the greater mission that this university fulfills. So, 
That's the frustration, which is a negative way of saying how excited I am about being here. That's what deconstructive philosophy is all about. Okay, that's a very subtle joke. Uh, the last item, of course, is to thank all those who made the meeting possible. Uh, Essie and Nat, Rachel, I mean, you guys year after year deliver, and everything goes off smoothly. Sometimes I'm surprised because you simply take care of all of the details and all of the uh, matters that need to make a, a meeting, a complex meeting like this go well. And then the staff, Danny and, and your staff has really done a superb job again. And uh, our thanks to you for making this Board of Governors occasion fun, inspiring, and uh, rewarding in many respects. So for the staff especially, thank you very, very much. And last, I must acknowledge again what I did when I moderated the discussion about the expansion of the university, the confidence that uh, we have uh, given uh, to Ron, Muli, and Gustavo to lead uh, the uh, university in so many different ways with such great competence uh, is duly acknowledged and thanked. So I could ask for a, mo a motion to adjourn the meeting, but I won't. Please enjoy lunch outside and see you next year. Ah, excuse me. There's a comment, I suppose, or a question. Please. Actually, you spoke about the, the issue that the many members they are not participating in uh, this uh, session. I think as a member or a chairman, we have to think how we, how we can find a solution for this issue. And uh, for the next year, we hope that the many members will participate because if the people they are not participating twice, I think we have to, to think how to cancel the members. We can put the list and to continue to the list to grow and the people they are not coming. Right. That's the first uh, remark. Okay. Second. Second remarks about the total philosophy on uh, This year and many years we can see people from the minorities getting this uh, award. I think as uh, members of the board, we have to think about how to give the chance of representatives of people that uh, made a lot of contribution for the community and the society to be part of this uh, uh, doctor of That's the second. The third thing that I would like to speak about the BDS. Everybody heard what happened, what happened with Argentina and they cancelled the visit in Israel. I think the university is a good example of how the coexisting and the good relationship. I think uh, supposed to be an initiative from the university to create seminar, to create uh, discussion about the BDS, especially from the academy, how to defeat this phenomenon. Because it's very important for the state of Israel and the, the university is a good example of how students from the minorities and the majority join the classes and the, the discussion I think supposed to be from the university initiative from this issue. The fourth item that you spoke about the uh, equality between minorities and the, uh, and the majority of the citizens. Uh, I'm asking the university and the administration, they supposed to introduce a poll how many employees from the minorities working in the, in the university and 
how we can encourage people to be part of the administration of the staff. Thank you. Each of those points is well taken. And uh, yeah, wait a second, Avi. And uh, we will address them in due, uh, in due process. Yes, Avi. Would you, would you like to respond?
we have definitely want to do it. It's something that we think twice. Uh, it is very correct to you of the Polish matter. It was very difficult for me to say that the BBC was much better than last year. And the BBC is the last compliment I'm going to give for the coming two months. But when you think of point of us, or one point of us, the same time, three points, three things as yourself. Guys, we need you. And by the way, I first said, people from abroad and people from Israel. It's your responsibility as a board of government to help us raise the money, open the door. We jump on the plane when you need. I know it's true from Gustavo, I know it's true from Ron, I know it's true from myself. Please give us some criticize us. Tell us what we need to do. We need to open the door and again. I'm not speaking only about people from the US and Europe, I'm speaking also about Israelis. We've got a nice story, we've got a great story, with the opportunity to tell our story and found fellow travelers to join us with this. And we need every possible help. It can be by opening the door, it can be by people pointing at influential people that we go and speak to them and try to show them, you know, to be more active for and I have to love it here. So please give us our time in order to be able to continue to improve. Thanks. Go ahead, stand up. Thank you very much for your comments. Are there other individuals who'd like to say something critically? Yes, uncritically. There they are. One, one of the big mistakes we made in this, this year uh, is that the uh, student research uh, demonstrations, the posters that were uh, exhibited uh, today, uh, conflicted with the uh, TED Talks. And um, I, I, I visited it for a very brief time, but I find that absolutely crucial for part of the board's uh, activities. And next year, they have to have some uh, real time. But uh, your point about, uh, and that's one place that the students uh, and the BOG uh, can meet. Uh, but there are other opportunities too. Yeah, dancing, that's a good idea. That's a great idea. Okay, anyone else want to make a comment? And kindly remember that I called for nominations for the next uh, chairman. Uh, or chairwoman. Uh, I'm serious about that. Uh, it's going to be a real search uh, because we want the very best person possible. Thank you very much and have a good year. <laughs>